بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ تو دے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ عید الفطر دس از اے اسپیشل سیلیبریشن ان اسلام اینڈ وی ول نو ان دس ویڈیو اباؤٹ دا میننگ آف عید الفطر اینڈ وین وی سیلیبریٹ بائی ایٹ and how we know that Eid al-Fitr is here and the meaning of Zakat al-Fitr and who we should give to and we will know also about what we should do in Eid al-Fitr or manners of Eid al-Fitr first Eid al-Fitr, this feast of breaking our fasting. After we fast the month of Ramadan, Allah make up to us these days, the three days of Eid al-Fitr, like a price to us to be happy, and uh, celebrate by end of our fasting and enjoy with our family and our relatives and uh, our neighbors and all people in our society by this wonderful celebration that called Eid al-Fitr. So do you know when exactly started Eid al-Fitr? Eid al-Fitr al-Mubarak start exactly on the first day of Shawwal. This is the Hijri month, number nine of the Hijri months. Do you know the rest of the Hijri months and how many they are? The Hijri months are twelve. محرم سفر ربيع أول ربيع الثاني جمادة الأول جمادة الثاني رجب شعبان رمضان شوال ذو الكعدة ذو الحجة Do you know when we celebrate by the, the second Eid Eid الأضحى المبارك Yeah, we celebrate by Eid al-Adha al-Mubarak in the 10th of Dhul Hijjah. This is the last month of the Hijri months. And also we do Hajj in this month. We celebrate by Eid al-Fitr al-Mubarak. This is like completing for our fasting and we thank Allah for the strength and the blessings that he gave to us through Ramadan. So, so we have this days as a gift from Allah to enjoy after breaking our fasting. How we know that Eid al-Fitr is the start? Yeah, when we see the new crescent of Shawwal, this is the month that comes after Ramadan and there is an important thing here that should all Muslims countries should agree together in the seeing the new crescent of Ramadan and also the new crescent of Shawwal. Why we talk about that? Because the Islamic countries are different in seeing 
these uh, crescents for the Ramadan, also for Shawwal, some, some Islamic countries start to fast in a day and the other countries start in the other day. Also, this happens in Shawwal, some countries celebrate by Eid in a day and the and the other countries celebrate by the Eid in another day. So we hope in this matter to all the Islamic countries agree together in one thing. Fast together and celebrate together by Eid. We reach here to Zakat al-Fitr. Do you know what this means, Zakat al-Fitr, and when and how we should pay this Zakat al-Fitr, and for whom we should pay this Zakat? As you know, in our Islam, we have two kind of Zakat. There is compulsory Zakat, and there is uh, sunnah zakah that we call it charity compulsory zakah this is the zakah that we should pay for poor and needy and these zakah compulsory zakah are three zakat al fitr and Sadaqat al-Nadr and Zakat al-Mal and the second type of Zakat this is the charity this is the option Zakat this is what we we should uh, do it for poor and needy in any time and anywhere this is option like if you see any poor or needy here or there so you can give to him some money or food or drink or you can give uh, or, or uh, provide the charitable organization by uh, some money or some clothes that you are donate by it this is we call it a uh, charity or sunnah zakah but the compulsory zakah or as zakah al wajiba in arabic language this is zakah that we should give one of them three zakat al fitr this is zakah that we call that we uh, talk about it in our video and zakat al mal ma the money zakat of money and uh, Sadaqat and Nadr, Zakat of the Oath, and we will know more about these types of compulsory Zakat in the next videos, inshallah. But today we talk about Zakat al Fitr. This is Zakat, we should pay it for poor and needy in the last days of Ramadan and should be before Eid prayer. So we know the time of Zakat al-Fitr in the last days of Ramadan and before Eid prayer. Now, how much I should pay this Zakat? I should pay this Zakat who identified the limit of this zakah? The Islamic Affairs, the Ministry of Islamic Affairs in each country. Only it should identify the limit of this zakah, zakat al-fitr. And usually this is zakat, the limit of this zakah 
is between 15 and 25 dirhams. And I think he in this is different from country to another country, but this is the limit between 15 and 25. I should be this limit if this is the case is 20. The Ministry of Islamic Affairs in my country uh, told us that the, the cattle filter for this year is 20, 20 dirhams. This is example only. So I should pay only 20 dirhams for war and needy? No. I should pay this is the cat 20 for each member of my family. How? I will explain more this matter. If my family, the Ministry of Islamic Affairs told us that the limit of the cattle fitter is to win it there, okay? How I should be this the cattle fit? I should be this is limit of Winnie Durham for each member of my family. If my family are examples five members, so I should multiply this limit of the cattle fit to Winnie for the numbers or the members of my family. So 20 multiply five. So it will be 100 dirham. So I should be 100 dirhams. I should give to poor and needy. And there is here another important thing. I have option in this matter to pay money or give it or give food or drink is like as you see in this picture. Sure, maybe I pay 100 dirhams for a poor and needy anyone or I should uh, or I should pay it also to the charitable organization like uh, Red Crescent or any other or, uh, charitable organization or I have another option I can pay the 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 amount of this 100 uh, bring food by this limit of the money 100 and 100 dirham and buy be it food and, and drinks and give to poor and needy as the poor needs if they need more money so i should be it more money if the poor and needy need more food maybe this country is very poor they cannot find uh, uh, food uh, and drink is easy so i can Pay this limit of 100 dirham uh, food and the drink is for those poor and needy. Here, what we should do in Eid al Fitr or the manners that I should follow in Eid al Fitr. There are more manners for Eid al-Fitr and all these manners are sunnah I should follow my Prophet Muhammad in these things. Number one, I should take a shower and put perfume, wear a new clothes, walk to the musalla or to the mosque to pray the Eid prayer. I can walk or drive. This is option, but uh, to walk is better because as we know before, uh, if I walk to the mosque to do any prayer, Allah give me by each step, Allah give me one hasana, one good deed, and erase from my account when sins or when bad deeds so allah in each step of walking to the mosque to do a prayer allah give me one good deeds and erase from my account when bad deeds so walking to the mosque to do a prayer is better than to drive a car
or go by car. Number five, I should, why say while I am walking, take peer, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, like this. Okay. Number six, I should do this prayer in the musalla or in a mosque. I have option in this matter. Do you know what does it mean, musalla? Musalla, this is a specific area that each Muslim country made this area only for Eid prayer. So I have option to do Eid prayer in musalla or in the mosque. And the musalla is better. Why? Why we say, why is to do a pray, Eid prayer is better than to do it of, uh, in a mosque? This is to follow the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to do Eid prayer in a specific area that called Musalla. And also there is another reason for this matter, the Prophet that used to do this Eid prayer in a Musalla, that this area uh, that they made for Eid prayer is, she can, uh, it can, it is why to more people, maybe, uh, maybe the mosque is uh, uh, big, but uh, this is made this because in the ancient time, the mosque, the mosque was small. So they made a wide area called the Musalla to be able to have all these numbers or more people from the Muslims. Number seven, I should visit my relatives and friends, neighbors, any, any Muslims beside me, and I should give a gift to them, and maybe I give to the kids uh, some money and this called idea. This is a habit or a traditional in most of the Islamic countries. So these are the manners of Eid al-Fitr al-Mubarak. And also another thing that I should break my fast before I go to the Eid prayer. This is from the Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I should take any food, like a breakfast, maybe little, not take all, the whole your breakfast, but you should take a little, anything, maybe date and some water like this, before you go to eat prayer. This is Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And also the last thing, I should congratulate the others from Muslims by this Eid, I say, I should say to them, Eid Mubarak. Now we reach to Eid prayer or Salat Al Eid. Do you know how we should do this prayer? Eid prayer. Eid prayer contain of two rakas and two khutbah or two sermon. When the Muslims reach to the musalla or the mosque, they should sit in this area and should say for a part of time, say takbir. 
before the start the Eid prayer. And this is takbir like this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Kabira. Walhamdulillahi Kasira. Wa Subhanallah, Bukratan wa Asila. La ilaha illa Allah wahda Sadaqa wa'da Wa nasar abda Wa azza jundahu Wa hazam al ahzaba wahda La ilaha illa Allah Wa la na'budu illa iya مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد This is the takbir of the Eid before Eid prayer that Muslims should say for around 15 or 20 at, uh, minutes. After that, the Imam and Muslim start to pray to rakas. And this is the prayer to rakas, like, like Fajr prayer, but uh, the difference, the Imam say in the first raka, before start by Surah Al-Fatiha, he say Takbir seven times. Seven times. But, and from them, Takbiratul Ihram. And he should say like this, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Seven times. Then start to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. Then, a small surah and uh, from sunnah this the small surah should be surah al ghashiya then do rukua then two sajda then raise up and say in the second raka five raka five takbir sorry in the first raka before surah al reciting surah al fatiha we say, should say, seven takbirs, okay? But in the second raka, he should say five times takbirs. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, like this. And the ma'mumin should follow the imam while he say this. And between the, between takbir and the next takbir, uh, uh, the ma'mumins or and the imam maybe say uh, any any dhikr or say subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa Allah. okay maybe say this so, tasbih or maybe not okay but the important to do seven takbirs in the first raka before reciting surah al fatiha and the small surah and in the second raka should say five times takbirs then Recite Surah Al-Fatiha and another small surah, and this is surah, maybe surah Al-A'la or surah Al-Shams, or in a small surah, then do Rukua, then do two Sajda, then the last Tashahud, then do Taslim. After these two rakas of Eid prayer, by this form, 
Imam should say two sermon in Arabic khutbatayn. What he should say in this khutbah? Like the, the normal khutbah in Juma prayer, but he should uh, specific say in this Eid prayer. He should, uh, he should, uh, he should advise Muslim uh, by the good manners and talk with them about the Eid manners and learn them more about Eid and uh, what we uh, how what we should do and also about uh, the price of this Eid that Allah uh, made it to us. This is the Eid the prayer and how we should do it. How Muslims around the world celebrate by this Eid, the Muslim all over the world celebrate by Eid al-Fitr in a different ways. We will show only different pictures from, from a different countries. We will not identify uh, what this country, but we will uh, Talk only about some pictures that we uh, collect us from uh, a different countries. As you see in this picture, some countries do uh, some uh, decoration for uh, this Eid, like uh, this is color schools, and others in other countries do henna and uh, balance and uh, more decoration like this and uh, and in uh, some countries do a specific uh, a specific suite for uh, for this occasion this Eid like this this is some types of uh, sweets like uh, we call it cake and biscuits and orayeba and bit four like this and you can some in, in some countries some people uh, make these uh, sweets in their homes and the other people buy it from the sweets shops here some habits and uh, traditionals for Muslims in celebration by Eid al-Fitr. Some give gifts and uh, money, prizes and uh, sweets like this. And uh, the others go uh, out of their houses and go to the parks and malls uh, to celebrate by these occasions. As you see, some visit their relatives and kiss their heads and the, the uh, parents and the grandparents they give for kids uh, idea and a part of money and uh, they greeting each other uh, by salam and by uh, saying Eid Mubarak like this some hang each other but I think for the for these days for coronavirus I think this is this is before this is kitchens for hanging each other so this is before before coronavirus but for coronavirus I think uh, this is uh, forbidden to uh, uh, make salam by hand this or hanging each other should be from away and say only by your tongue from and keep the social distance between you and the others. This is for your safety and the other safety. As you see, some and the kids and with their relatives, with their parents, go abroad to the fun cities to have some fun together and eat some foods and play like this. This is a difference plays and games that kids 
play in Eid and go to the Barkis and now we reach to the end of our video if you like our video I wish to like it press like and subscribe and follow us in our channel thank you so much assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh